turn off our waiting room. Um, okay. Hey, y'all. Um, we're going to get started here for our Lunch and Learn. Uh, I just want to introduce myself. So welcome to Riot's Lunch and Learn series, the place where we spotlight Riot's sponsors and partners. My name is Lauren Colatino, and I'm the Marketing and Communications Director here at Riot. Um, just a quick reminder before we get started, this event is being recorded, and we will be posting it to Riot's YouTube channel and uploaded to the Meetup page, which you registered for this event on. Um, if you have any questions throughout the presentation, please place them in the chat, and I will be monitor monitoring the chat for you, and I'll be reading those questions out loud throughout the presentation. Um, we're reading them out loud just because this is uh, recorded and going onto our YouTube later. Um, finally, please keep yourself muted throughout the event to help mitigate background noise. And now I want to introduce you to our speaker. Today we have Jose Marcillo from KNX USA to discuss smart house, smarter living, benefits of standard systems in home automation. So mute yourself and um, we're going to get started. Jose, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lauren. Thank you so much. And uh, I'd like to say hello to all the people attending this, this webinar today. I'm very happy to have this opportunity to talk to all of you about uh, KNX. Uh, maybe many people, many of you may know KNX, but uh, some of you may not. So uh, first of all, I'd like to introduce myself. Uh, as Lauren said, this is Jose. I'm from KNX USA. I'm the representative of uh, KNX uh, in, in this country, in the United States. And we are here in order to make KNX bigger in the USA and to uh, make uh, to let you know, to let everyone know uh, about KNX, okay? So uh, in this presentation, in this webinar, uh, I'd like to make a short introduction about what is KNX. Uh, I will show you how you can get benefit of uh, this technology here in the States. How can you make, um, how can you use KNX in your projects? How can you work with KNX? How can you get trained? How can you get certified? and so on, okay? Uh, and I will show you some facts and figures as well about KNX and not just KNX, but also about um, the, the, the USA market for home and building automation. And last but not least, uh, we will go into some examples of some projects that uh, I, I hope you can see what we can do with, with KNX, okay? So let's go. Um, let's let's go about the US market. So let's have a, uh, an introduction about how is the US market today. Uh, this, is, this is today, this is the, the, the smart home automation market share. And as you can see, the projection for the next years is high rocketing. So uh, actually, uh, I always say this, that in, in many countries, uh, it's mandatory to have building automation Okay, some kind of building automation, maybe uh, present sensors, maybe to switch off the AC if there is no, uh, no occupancy, or uh, to have BMS even uh, to control and monitor all the variables, all these sensors uh, remotely and make decisions. Okay, also in some states uh, it's also mandatory. Like for example, in, in California, we have some kind of um, um, yeah, mandatory uh, for, for control and uh, some kind of automation. And what I want you to see, what I want you to see is that the, this business is, is getting bigger, bigger and bigger in the next, in the upcoming years, okay? Uh, just to let you know, this is also a market research, research from Adroit, okay? And uh, this report uh, centers uh, the top plan for this market uh, and is talking about these brands. Okay, so as you can see, these brands, uh, many of them are from, from here, from the States, and many of them are not. They are, uh, some of them are from Europe and also from Japan and so on. But I want you to see that most of these brands, most of these manufacturers are already KNX members, are already working with KNX. They have KNX products, okay? KNX products in the market. So this is very important. So before going into, into the details, I'd like to, to speak to you. I'd like to tell you what is KNX, okay? So let's have a look. What is KNX? First of all, KNX is not a company, 
Okay, this is very important. KNX is not a private company, uh, is not producing devices. You can, I'm not selling devices. Okay, this is important to know because many people think, okay, you are here in the KNX, you are here in the USA. Okay, so we can go now to you and we can buy devices. No, that's not correct. KNX is not, uh, is not a company. KNX is an association. KNX is a protocol. Okay, and, and the association behind the protocol is KNX, the International Association. And KNX USA is the branch in the USA in charge of the promotion and the brand awareness and so on of KNX in the United States. Okay, so KNX is a standardized communications protocol for building automation and control systems. It's global. It's, this is very important. It's, it's global. It's open and non proprietary system. I always like to point out about the, the, the fact that KNX is a non proprietary standard system and also about the fact that it's open. Okay. That means that the, the KNX does not belong to any brand, it's not linked to any brand, any manufacturer, any private company. This is very important because you do not depend on one single company or on one single manufacturer or system provider uh, or whatever. No, that's not correct. So uh, this is very important. Uh, KNX is 30 years in the market already. We, we started uh, 30 years ago in, uh, in Europe. Uh, KNX is very successful, not just in, in Europe, but also in, in China, in Japan, and also in Latin America is well known as well. Uh, we have big players uh, producing KNX devices, offering KNX solutions, and being part of the what I like to call the KNX ecosystem. Okay, I'm talking about Siemens, I'm talking about ABB, Snyder Electric, Merton, Lutron, or Johnson Controller, for example, or RTI that you may know. Okay, we have more than 500, 500 developers, KNX members, KNX manufacturers producing more than 8,000 KNX devices in the market. Okay, and all these devices uh, can provide solutions for lighting shutters, energy management, HVAC, security, remote control, and their communication. Uh, many people think that KNX can only have products or solutions for lighting control, okay? That's not correct. And this is one of the biggest uh, advantage of KNX in terms of interoperability. KNX can communicate several types of devices. For example, you can control uh, lights, Okay, on off or or um, presence, um, sorry, or um, dimming control with a presence sensor. The same presence sensor can also switch off the HVAC system, the AC system, for example. Okay, only one PIR presence sensor for both uh, for both control. This is very innovative in in terms of um, in terms of interoperability, and this is one of the main advantages of of KNX. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, these are some facts and figures about KNX. Uh, KNX, as I said before, uh, has more than 500 members, 500 companies, companies producing KNX devices in the market, over 8,000 products in the market already working. We also have products here in the USA as well, uh, many of them UL certified. Uh, 500 KNX certified training centers. The training centers are in charge of um, um, certified students. Okay, so if you want to get into the KNX technology, the first step is to get certified in KNX. So you join a KNX training center and you get your KNX basic course and you get certified. KNX is present in more than 190 countries, okay? Not just in Europe, as many people know, but also around the world. It's a worldwide standard for home and building control. More than 120,000 partners, KNX partners. These are certified people that, is, that are already working with, with KNX around the world, okay? Uh, what type of projects we can do with KNX? Okay, this is one of the the most uh, well, well, one of the the questions that I get um, more here in the USA. What kind of products can? What kind of um, projects can we make with KNX? Okay, so we can differentiate it in two kinds of projects. The first group are uh, commercial projects. We can talk about hotels, partner store, airports, hospitals, schools, universities, and so on. For hotels. KNX has solutions for in-room control. You can control everything in the room and you can also monitor everything with a BMS, okay? 
GRMS, this is to control the occupancy in the room. If there is no one in the room, but it's checked in, so okay, no need to switch off the AC because you cannot switch the uh, switch off the AC, but you can uh, set the AC into standby mode, for example. You cannot uh, switch it off, fine, I understand, I agree, but you can switch to standby mode. Convention centers, common areas of the hotel and so on, and everything can be managed with one system. Okay, this is the, the, the good thing. KNX has, since KNX has solutions for all this um, functionality, lighting, shades, HVAC, and so on, we, need, we, we just need to use KNX, okay? Uh, also, BMS integration over IP. So with a central BMS, we can control all these things in hotels. Department stores. We can also make billing by consumptions, by... by by stores, okay, with, we have KNX energy meters in the market from many manufacturers, not just one, but many manufacturers. AirPods, for example, huge experience with the HVAC integration, huge portfolio of KNX sensors. This is important. We, in KNX, uh, we can find a huge range of sensors, uh, CO2 sensors, uh, air quality sensors, humidity, temperature, and so on. Uh, one of the good things of KNX is that Taking into account that we have more than 500 manufacturers producing KNX devices, we have a huge range of products available in the market. What that means, what that means that since there is competition between them, prices are very, very competitive, okay, in this market. For residentials, we can do things starting with uh, small apartments, 800 square feet, for example, uh, remote control for, uh, of the HVAC system, lighting or security, for example or uh, maybe high-end villas, okay, as well. We can make high-end villas and control everything. Also integration of audio video, okay? KNX is also available to control audio video devices in the house. Let me show you some examples of uh, KNX devices so you have an idea of, of what we are talking about, right? So for example, the first one, we have a load actuator, this is, on off actuator to control um, up to eight, uh, eight loads, a channel, for example. This is dual certified. It's in the market, it's in the US, it's available, and it's certified and it can be used for commercial or residential. Okay, this is in this case, this is one is from Siemens. And uh, yeah, you have up to 20 amperes, which is mandatory for uh, uh, commercial buildings. DALI controller. We have DALI controller to control the lights, to control up to 64 ballast, which is very nice because this is like a, a 64 channel actuator, okay, and with a very good price. And we also have the zero to 10 analog dimming, very well known and very used here in the USA, also from Siemens in this case as well, all right? These products, as you can see, are DIN rail mounted, okay? DIN rail mounted. So the idea of this is that you can, for example, you can, make your, your, your electrical uh, panel board, for example, and you can also build your uh, control panel, okay? In your control panel, DIN rail based, you can install your KNX devices. Let me show you, let me show you some examples of keypads, okay? One of the main difference between, between the lighting control in, in, in Europe versus the lighting control here in the USA is the design, okay? Many people go for KNX because of the design, not just because of the functionality, but because of the design of the keypads. So this is just an example. Uh, you can see brands like uh, Basalt or Tens or uh, Divus uh, for, for touch screens, which are very intuitive, very beautiful. And also Siemens, for example, Siemens also have a, a small touch screen, very useful, very nice. And it fits into a standard US box, wall box. This is important as well, okay? So what I want to show you is that you have a very good range of beautiful keypads available in the market. Another kind of uh, sensors that we can find in KNX are, for example, PIR sensors, occupancy sensors, of course, uh, weather stations, outdoor brightness sensors, and so on. Let me show you how the topology works from the installation point of view, okay? Uh, maybe some of you are not so technical, but uh, for those who, who are, I'd like to show you some example of how to, how to run the topology, how to install the Kinex cable and the Kinex devices. So we have a twisted pair cable, uh, twisted pair cable 
okay? It was, it's called the Kinex cable. It can be one pair or two pairs of cables, so two wires or four wires. And we connect all the Kinex devices there. Kinex devices that uh, can be powered only, this is important, only with one wire. So we don't need, Kinex devices don't have, um, they don't have, for example, uh, uh, two wires for data and two wires for uh, power supply but uh, just a couple of words uh, for uh, data and power. Okay, this is important because we can save um, the wiring, we can save cable in the topology. So we can install here all the Kinex devices. Uh, we also have non dim rail devices, but uh, um, uh, that can fit in a box, in standard box, US box, in the ceiling, for example, also dim rail devices. And we can control many things, zero to 10 volts, dimming uh, devices, dimmer, or for LED or DALI, okay? So on top of this, we have IP network, okay? So in case we want to communicate our Kinex devices with the existing, let's talk about the existing uh, IP network, we can do it over BACnet, for example, by using a Kinex BACnet uh, IP interface, or we can use a KNX Modbus RTU or TCP interface, okay? So what I want to point out here with this slide is that we have the possibility to make a retrofit projects, okay? So you have an existing project, perfect, that's fine. But you can also, now you can change the, just the lighting system, for example, and you can, change, you can change their old dimming modules that you have existing models in the, in the hotel, for example for uh, this new lighting system with KNX and you can integrate in your existing BMS, which is for example, BACnet, okay? You can do that, perfectly compatible. You also have the possibility to introduce your own BMS, non-existing, not BACnet or whatever, but also KNX uh, BMS, you can do that. And you can communicate directly to the KNX uh, TP Twisted Pair Network with a Siemens or another brand KNX IP router okay on top of that we have the bms as i said before that we can uh, communicate with uh, the network over backnet or modbus or whatever okay so let's talk about the possibilities the business possibilities that you can have in uh, in the us uh, i'd like to differentiate between between three kind of uh, of um people that might be interested in in joining knx okay first of all we have KNX manufacturers or KNX developers, okay? I want to show you this slide, which I like more than the other one. It's, it's less technical, it's more visual. On the left side, we have the so-called traditional KNX, okay? Traditional KNX means, as I said before, one wire IP interface with a TP, TP twisted per cable and a power supply, keypads, uh, sensors, actuators, and so on. We also have radio frequency as well, by the way, okay? So KNX can be TP, TP, twisted per, can be IP over IP, or can be also radio frequency. Okay, fine. But now we have something new, which is the IoT, okay? So uh, an already existing manufacturer that is producing sensors, for example, humidity sensors, can now communicate with all the KNX ecosystem, okay? With all the KNX, let's say classical KNX on the left side. So this is what we call KNX IoT device. And the communication can be over Wi-Fi with IP uh, version six, uh, uh, IPv6 for the router, as you can see here in the example, or it can be thread, okay? Uh, thread is a, a new also wireless uh, technology. Um, yeah, and this is the idea, okay? So we can communicate a KNX uh, IoT device with the existing uh, KNX Classic um, uh, in the building, okay? So for the system integrator, okay? Let's say you are a system integrator, you are a system co uh, electrical contractor, you are a professional working in this field, we are a, you are an audio video uh, a company uh, and you would like to to go into to go into the home and building automation and you like to provide solutions non-linked to any 
brand, okay? So you want to be brand independent, you want to offer your own solution with the brand you'd like for every project. Okay, so in this case, what KNX, what KNX can offers you is a, a system with more than 500 brands offering KNX products. You can choose the best for your product at the best price. You don't need to go only for one manufacturer. This is very important. Uh, more than 8,000 products in the market, as I said before, increase your skills portfolio in the building automation market. Okay, maybe you're an expert in audio video, but now you want to go into the lighting control or you want to, you want to implement the lighting control in your projects, in your audio video projects. Again, you don't need to be linked to any brand, but uh, with a technology, in this case, KNX, okay? So you can, you can go for a keypad, uh, 1,000 uh, keypad uh, products, uh, for example, $1,000 product, keep it, or you can go for cheap ones if you need, depends on your product, okay? You have this possibility, this range possibility. Uh, you get uh, international acknowledgement because Kinex is uh, well-known worldwide and your certification is valid. Your Kinex partner certification that you can get if you get trained is valid worldwide, okay? Uh, you become a home automation professional in your area and your name and company name will be listed at knx.org. So anyone that wants to go for KNX in, in, a, in a project, anyone that wants to install KNX can go to the website. I can see that you are one of the certified and official partners in your area. You can run your business based on your skills. And as I said before, not linked to any manufacturer. This is one of the sentence, one of the statements uh, that uh, it's, it's getting more popular here in the US because many people don't want to be linked to any manufacturer or any brand, right? They just want to be independent. So they just want to provide a solution, uh, not linked to any, any manufacturer. So you can increase your skills portfolio by accessing to all the KNX products in the KNX ecosystem. So for example, you're an expert in lighting control, but now you can also control the HVAC system with the same PIR, for example, okay? So you are electrical contractor, for example, but you can also go into the HVAC uh, market. So how can you learn KNX? How can you go into the, into the KNX ecosystem? How can you get certified with KNX? So in, in KNX, uh, uh, if you register now at uh, my.knx.org, you can have access to uh, these uh, steps, I would say, okay? These are stages. So first of all, you have the ETSE campus, which is free of charge for you. You can just log in and you can check yourself all the possibilities that you have to learn KNX. At least, I, I think it's a very good first approach to the technology. So you know how it, how, how is it and um, how difficult or easy it's for you. And you have all the possibilities in one platform, okay? Uh, you can go for KNX Virtual. Uh, this is a software that you can simulate your KNX projects. Okay, you can download it free of charge as well, and you can simulate your your projects. You can play with it. It's it's very convenient. KNX webinars. We have a huge range of KNX webinars that you can uh, you can watch anytime, and this is very important. You can get certified in KNX. So you can go for the advanced course or the basic course in here, also here in the United States, okay? And a huge range of books, flyers, and so on. So KNX certified trainings here in the US, you can find two main stages, two main levels. The KNX basic course, okay? It's the first course that anyone must attend in order to become a KNX partner, okay? That means that if you want to work with the KNX technology, this is the first step. In this, uh, in this training, you will learn how to switch on off light, how to move blinds up and down, and how to make a general shoot down, okay? And the duration of the course, including exams, is around 30 hours, okay? And the theoretical part can be taken online. So you don't need to, you don't need to be one full week for this. Just uh, two, three days is fair enough, okay? If you want to go farther, if you want to go to the next level, I recommend you to go for the advanced course, also available, available here in the U.S., okay? And you will be 
covering all these topics. Uh, we will talk about KNX and multimedia, uh, Flux interworking, uh, KNX Telegram, IP Telegram, lighting control, integration with HVAC system, also logic operations, visualization systems. You will play with touch screens and so on, okay? Where to find KNX certified in the USA? So if you go to the KNX.us website, if you go to KNX training, uh, in the bottom line, you will see a link to KNX.org. On the right side, you can see, and uh, it's filtered by United States. So you can see there all the trainings that are taking place here in the US, okay? If you don't find, uh, if you don't find a, a certified training in your area, you can contact one of the training centers you can see here, Siemens or Domonetio training center, and they can offer you a, a training in your area if you are enough students, so you can talk to them, okay? Good. So how to program Kinex devices in projects, okay? Uh, we use one tool. So in KNX, no matter you have 10 products, 20 products, or whatever products, you can use only one tool, only one tool, one software. You don't need to learn one software for this or for lighting, for HVAC, only one software to control all devices, to integrate all devices. This is, this is uh, uh, changing the, the rules of the market because right now you can see, you know, the HVAC guys, they do the, all this stuff for the HVAC, the AC, fine, with the software, they commission everything and it's working fine. And the lighting guy as well. But there is no way to communicate each other. So with KNX, we can, we can make this even bigger. So we, we can combine both system, lighting control and HVAC system or security system in only one platform, okay? And also commission with only one tool. And the name is ETS-6. Let me show you a short video about the ETS-6 uh, software, okay? So the software is developed by KNX International Association, okay? And it uh, provides all the integration of information and all the parameters also of the devices can be configured there, okay? This is the interface, you log in. It's very flexible and easy to use. The license, uh, because it works with a license, uh, it can be on uh, online. I mean, you don't need to have a dongle or something like that. All your products in one software, also integrated with IP and KNX IoT as well, and more than 30 years experience in the market with this software. So this is, for example, the settings window. You can make uh, projects uh, starting with five devices up to thousands of devices. So this is one of the good things of, of ETS. You learn ETS one time and you can make small projects or super big projects, okay? It doesn't matter. So smart, secure, open, and this is KNX. Okay, so these are some of the, the comments from, from people that is using KNX. So as I said before, one tool for all manufacturers, products and projects. You can plan with this tool, you plan, you design and commission all devices all in one tool, okay? And you have integration of three media, IP, twisted pair and radio frequency, okay? So let me show you uh, to, to finish the presentation, to, 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 to finish my presentation, one of uh, some examples of uh, KNX projects uh, made here in the USA, okay? Vancouver Convention Center uh, in this uh, building uh, was used KNX, over 2,100 Dali Valas, Okay, and more than 10,000 control points, 10,000 data points to control on off, status, and so on. KNX sports venue, on the right side, you can see how it looks like, how, how a KNX control panel looks like. Okay, you can see all the loads. The twisted pair is connected with the, the black and, uh, and red famous connector. Okay, uh, you have an IP gateway there to monitor and to control everything in this uh, in this panel, 
And this, for example, is a set of four uh, eight relay panels uh, over IP network, okay? So it can be controlled remotely. Uh, retrofit applications, as I said before, uh, for, on the left side, you can see old 48 relay uh, panel, okay? And on the right side, you can see a new, uh, brand new uh, panel with KNX uh, with uh, 48 relays as well, 20 amperes each. ABB headquarters in Ohio, they are made with KNX. Uh, by the way, ABB and Siemens, well-known brands here in the US, they have a huge portfolio of KNX products available here in the, in the US. Uh, so, for example, the headquarters were made with KNX. Uh, high end villa in Los Angeles, a very nice villa. Everything was controlled, even the even the fontaine you can see here on the right side. Everything, uh, the lighting system, HVAC system, also the audio video integration into the same into the same system. And that's all. These are uh, these are some of the projects you can find here in the in the US. And uh, I'd like to say thank you very much for for your attention today. Thank you so much, Jose. That was a great presentation. Um, if anybody has any questions, feel free to put them into the chat now. Um, anything about KNX products, home building automation, um, and I'll read them out loud. And in the meantime, is uh, can you let everybody know how to connect with you, Jose? I see you have your information on the screen. Is there anywhere else on social media or anything you want to connect? Yeah, actually, you can uh, reach me out. With, this is my email and my phone number. Uh, if you are interested in, in some uh, KNX projects or you want to know more about KNX or you'd like to get certified and you don't know where to go or whatever, just uh, send me an email and I will, I will be happy to help you. We are also very active in social media. I have to say in Instagram and also LinkedIn. If you have LinkedIn, I kindly ask you to, to, to follow KNX USA webpage because we are very active there. We are showing uh, projects and examples and also webinars and so on. And also the website, it, if, if you are interested in KNX, go to our website because it's very useful as well. You can find there a lot of information about KNX. Awesome, thank you. Um, I don't see any more questions coming in, but um, thanks for an awesome presentation. Uh, just a reminder, right, host Lunch and Learns every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. And you can find a list of our Lunch and Learns on our meetup page where you registered today. Um, so I hope everybody has a great day. This will be on YouTube if you'd like to revisit it and um, we'll see you again. Thank you so much, thank you, I appreciate it.